class of 2009, is Martin Joseph Ilo Gestira. Martin is the son of Honorio and Mercedita Estira. He will now give his address. Good evening, Archbishop Anthony Aperon, Mr. Roth, Mr. Thompson, teachers and staff, parents, family members, friends, guests, alumni, and my fellow classmates. We have finally made it. After four years of achievements and failures, ups and downs, good times and bad times, my classmates and I have reached an accomplishment for which we should all be proud and thankful of. I know, though, that this night will not be the one most remembered, nor will we remember the late nights finishing homework that is due the next day. We, not re we might not remember the failed quizzes, the past exams, or even the subject matter itself. What we will remember the most, though, is the times we have spent with each other. Whether it's sharing some laughs at the cafeteria table, relaxing and enjoying company in the AmeriCorps room, or playing a pickup game of basketball, we will surely cherish the times of brotherhood and friendship. We also will remember the times when we as a class, enjoy moments of brotherhood and companionship. For those are the times when we accomplish the common goal. Our three straight Songfest championships are a testament to that. The times when we have succeeded together, failed together, laughed together, talked together, and had fun together are the memories which will last our entire life. If we think about it, this is probably the last time we will be together as a class. So we should look around and remember these faces and names that are in front of us right now, because you don't know if you will ever see them again. Don't remember the person like they are the vocabulary words on a test the next day. Instead, look at the guys around you and show that you appreciate them, their personality, traits, and of course all the good memories that all of you have shared. Ignore their bad traits and habits, and instead praise their good talents and deeds that have benefited you and the class. Always remember your high school classmates and friends, because they will become your closest friends for the rest of your life. As I look around and see the many faces and the memories that go along with them, I realize that this is a unique and special class that is different from the past 59 classes that have graduated from this great school. The class of 2009 is the 60th class that Father Duenas Memorial School has graduated in its glorious 60-year history. And if you haven't realized it yet, our class stands at the end of a generation, at the beginning of a new one. After serving faithfully for 18 years, Mr. Roth has to retire as the Father Duenas Memorial School principal. I may not have had a lot of memories with him, probably because I never got into any trouble in school, but the times I have spent with him are enjoyable and made me feel like I was talking to a friend rather than a principal. I thank Mr. Roth for his time, dedication, and for handling all the problems associated with a high school full of boys. I am sure that the whole student body, teachers, and staff will miss a good and humble man, but hopefully the end of an era will usher in a new beginning in FD's great history. As you all know, the administration will be taken over by the solution order of priests once the school year is over. They will come from the Philippines, which is actually a good thing because the Don Bosco School there is well known for its good education and prestige. Hopefully the new administration will bring the best aspects that have made the Philippine school flourish and implement them here at Father Duenas, making our already great school even better. As solutions work to improve our school, I hope they will maintain the good things that make Father Duenas what it is today and that they will not ignore the fact that FD is rooted in the island and culture of Guam. But neither, neither the Salatians nor Mr. Roth can make Father Duenas a great school alone. The teachers and staff make the school better because they are the ones that provide all the students the education they deserve and the right conditions in which to learn. So I would like to thank all the teachers in this school for all their knowledge, time, and dedication I also appreciate the patience they have shown
because I know it's hard to control a class full of male teenagers flustered with testosterone and driven to sleep by boredom. I hope that all of them continue to foster education and learning throughout their lives and to never give up on their classes. Because if they do, then they give up on the few students who are willing to learn and gain something from their teaching. I also like to acknowledge my past elementary and middle school teachers who have laid down the foundation for my high school education. I have honestly learned a lot from all my teachers and promised to put their lessons to good use. I thank you all once again for everything. My education, though, did not start in a classroom with the person I barely know. It started at home with my family. I am blessed to have a family such as mine, so dedicated and steadfast to providing for the whole family. For the past 18 years of my life, they have never failed me. We have remained together despite our faults and failures. They are my support group and make me happy while I try my best to do the same. I hope that we will remain strong as I begin my college journey in a faraway place and grow in love as life goes on. To my parents, who are actually celebrating their 28th anniversary today, I hope that everything I have achieved has made you proud and know that every achievement is dedicated to God and you yourselves. I know, though, that my successes and achievements will never repay the love and support you have given me. The teachings and lessons I have learned from you have shaped me and made me who I am today. The hard and long hours of work to ensure that I receive the best you can offer are not replaceable and very valuable. I promise that they will not go to waste and they will be used to further my education and my life. One day I hope that I will repay you for your work and in turn help to support you in your old age. Remember that I love you and I will always appreciate your lives and sacrifices. To my wonderful and loving aunt, you're my second mother providing me with much of my daily income and part of my family's bills. You are a special part of my family. In fact, I feel that my family would be incomplete without you. I know that the many miles I have driven to drop you to your small little food stand in Chamorro Village are not enough to repay all the money and support you have given me. Your hard life and situation has taught me to be a hard worker and to appreciate the simple things. I pray that you will continue to be part of my family through the coming years and that someday your good work and deeds will be repaid generously. To my two little sisters, you both can be annoying and irritating. Yet you have given me joy and laughter since you were born. You have taught me how to be responsible, how to be a brother. Both of you have taught me also how to be a leader and a self-sacrificing person, as I have to put your needs above mine. I hope that both of you can succeed higher than what I can do, for you both have the potential. Do not let my shadow overcome you. Let it be a test that needs to be passed, or an obstacle, obstacle to be beaten. Maybe someday you will stand in a better position than what I have achieved. Once again, my loving family, you are a big, important part of my life. Know that I will always love you and care for you. You have given me a lot. Soon I will give more to you. My family is very strong in our Catholic beliefs, and they have done a good job in fostering and keeping my faith. Though I would like to acknowledge two very special people who have served as my spiritual guides. Monsignor Bejito Arroyo, who unfortunately cannot be here tonight, is a priest who I appreciate very much. It was the first to welcome me into the church when he baptized me, and I have enjoyed his many homilies and insights about my faith and life. I have known him since my middle school years and since I joined the altar service at his St. Anthony Church in Tumuni, and I will always cherish my time there. The other person is also a fellow priest at St. Anthony. I hope he's here. Father Carl Villa has been more than a priest and spiritual guide. He has been a good friend. Ever since he joined the St. Anthony Parish, I have enjoyed his time homilies, and most especially his joyous personality. Our World Youth Day journeys in Australia are unforgettable and fun. I hope these two priests continue to serve not only their parish members, but also everyone they encounter in the same way they have served me. I think an angel once said that no man is a failure who has friends, which reveals how friends are so important to our lives. On that note, I want to thank the friends that I have and let them know that I am blessed to have them. I have known some for a lifetime and others for only a few years, but I care for all of them equally. The same goes to my fellow classmates. 
I respect and appreciate all of them. All of my friends and classmates have created another part of me that can never be replaced. Each and every one of them have taught me and changed me in their own unique way. And I have learned many lessons about life from all of them. I hope each and every one of them reaches their own potential, maybe becoming successful in whatever they do. But more so, I hope that they live long and happy lives. Because when I look around and see that everyone I know is happy and enjoying life, and I am happy and thankful for everything. Before we graduate and walk out of this gym as friars, I want everyone to breathe in this moment, in and out. Realize that there's a wonder in the here and now. It's right here in front of you. I don't want you to miss the miracle of the moment. They, my fellow classmates, class 2009, are the miracle of the moment. Thank you for attending our class graduation and for listening to this address. I hope you enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Martin.